Hey everyone, Prep and Paul here. Today I'm making a quick video on this little gadget from hamgadgets.com, the RBI 1A. What does this gadget do, you ask? Well, let me tell you. It connects your radio to your amplifier, so when your radio is using the amplifier, the amplifier amplifies the signals, but doesn't hurt the radio, so it protects the amplifier from hurting, protects the radio. It protects your radio from your amplifier. Dan over at hamgadgets.com was gracious enough to give the gentleman over at Coffee and Ham Radios one of these for one of their drawings on their streams a few weeks ago. And guess what, guys? I was the winner. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Everybody's a winner. I just got lucky. Thank you. So initially, you have to tell him what radio and what amplifier you use so he can make these custom cables. This, these cables are for the 101D and my Ameritron ALS 500 was working great and then I thought to myself, self, you just got an ICOM 705 and it's a QRP radio. You also have a Zygu 125B amplifier. And so I was thinking, should I try to connect that QRP radio to an amplifier so when I want to go 100 watts I can do it? Wasn't sure if I should or shouldn't. Just kept thinking and then I thought, just do it. Okay, I'll just do it. So guess what? You can also get the cables to connect the 705 to the Zygu 125B. So I got them. Let's connect it and see how it works. All right, everyone. We've got the 125B and the ICOM 705 and the kit that we've got from hamgadgets.com. Now you can run a single cable, which would be this one, six pinned in to the ALC jack on the 705 if you want. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, Don's relay buffer interface from hamgadgets.com in between the two to protect the radio when the amplifier is connected and used. So what you've gotta do for that is you've gotta order with the two cables, the six pinned in to RCA to go from the amp into the relay buffer. And the other cable is the RCA to 3.5 millimeter stereo jack to go from the relay buffer to the radio. So let's, let me turn these around. We'll hook them up real quick. Okay, so uh, the power cable, of course, too here for the relay buffer and then the power cable for the amplifier as well. We'll just set those aside for now. Um, first, we're going to go from the radio, and you're going to take the stereo jack into the ALC port right up here. Okay. And then that goes into the from radio amp keen. So this is from the radio into that. All right. Halfway there. The other one is the RCA plug goes into the two amplifier right there. And this is the six pin in and only goes in one way. So make sure that the little pin inside there is lined up. That's gonna go right here, just like that. The only other thing is to connect the power right here to my uh, 12 volt supply. And we're good to go. So now when the 705 is keyed up, it will, through the ALC function, will protect it through this relay. We should hear a click when the relay disengages so that there's nothing that can come back and harm the radio. So I'll hook up the coax, the microphone, and we'll give it a test. We'll see if we can hear the clicking of the relay interface that we've got inside this uh, amplifier relay protector. All right, I've got the power cables hooked up, the coax all hooked up. We've got everything turned on. We've got the 705 set to, um, well, it's on the battery, so it's 5 watts. And the linear amplifier tuner is all, it's set to manual. This I don't think with this setup I can uh, get the automatic band switch like I do with the G90. So you do have to manually switch the band to what you're on. And then you'll notice up here at the top, uh, here's the power I'm bringing in, okay? And once I once I key up, you're going to notice SWR here and here, 
And then over here, you're going to notice power in, I think, from the radio and power out. So we'll see how high of power we're getting. We can take a look at the power in from the radio. Should be less than 5 volts. And our SWR here will hopefully be 1 point something to 1. Let's give it a try. I've been listening for a while, and the frequency is clear. So let's just do a quick K5VOP testing. Testing K5VOP. Testing. Testing K5VOP. I am also on the Hustler, and 20 meters is tuned. So... It shouldn't be having an issue. But you can see here uh, when I key up the uh, SWR and, and the power in and out. So I thought it was bouncing between like 50 to 80, depending on the, you know, my voice into the mic. So one more try. K5 VOP testing, testing K5 VOP, one, two, three, four, five, K5 VOP testing. So as you can see, we're getting the power boost here. And I'm going to do it one more time, and I want you to listen close to the mic in case you didn't hear it. I'm going to put the relay next to the mic. You'll hear the relay activate every time I key up. Here we go. K5VOP testing. Hear that clicking? K5VOP final test. K5VOP clear. So you can hear the relay clicking in there, and that relay protects any back feed of power into the uh, unit itself, the 705, and it keeps it protected. So everything's set up pretty simple. Of course, uh, you know, if I wanted this mobile, uh, this could be great for mobile because everything I can roll up the cables and it's all kind of compact. Amplifier tuner, the radio, and then a battery pack or some kind of uh, power source and an antenna and you're good to go. Well, there you have it. Works pretty good. HamRadioGadgets.com. Uh, big thanks again to Dan and the Coffee and Ham Radios guys for allowing me to, to win this and use it. So... Thought it'd be a good video to put out there and give a little advertisement for them. Uh, the Relay Amp, RBI-1A. Just remember to order with the appropriate radio and amp you want to connect it to, and he'll get you the correct cables. If I was just connecting the uh, radio to that amp, it would just be a six-pin DIN to the 3.5 millimeter, millimeter stereo plug to the radio. But because I'm going through the Relay Amp to protect it, you're going to get two cables, the six pinned in to RCA into the relay. And then radio to relay is the 3.5 millimeter stereo with the RCA plug. And then the power cables, of course, but that'll connect it. And you'll be good to go and your radio is protected, guys. So hopefully this helps. Any of those thinking about getting it, hamradiogadgets.com, great product. And he makes them all. So thank you, Dan. And thanks, everyone, for watching 73. Take care.